All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Mills and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to Akim that are pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. And today, well, first and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, Yahweh, and many other false names. His only true name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. And Baha Shem, meaning in the name, Ba in Ha the Shem name, <coughs> Salaki, which is the only way to get to the Heavenly Father, which is through his only begotten Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is salvation or he uh, uh, he is deliverance. And it only pertains to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians who are the, bib the biblical Hebrew Israelites. Okay, no matter what you believe, and you speckled birds who uh, may look like the other nations, your outer appearance may seem to be a so-called white person or a so-called Chinese person, so on and so forth. But your sea line, who your father is, goes back to a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, which will make you an Israelite by blood. According to Numbers 1 verse 18, you are what your father is. Whatever nation your father is, that's what you are. And the Recha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Recha Spirit Kodash Holy, which is how we are able to do these lessons, go out to the houses and bad ways, and ultimately do the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. It's all done through the Recha Kodash, which is the Holy Angels. And today I want to get into this quick lesson. And I'm going to title it, You Can't. You can't currently prepare for what's coming. And this is something that I got from um, the brother uh, Yeshaya out in the uh, Iowa camp, GMS Iowa camp. And this is something that he said on one of his lessons a while back. And I just wrote it down, put it in my notes. And, um, you know, because it was a, a, that was a, that was a heavy saying, man. I want to do a lesson on, on that, you know, just bring a uh, topic from that, man. You can't currently prepare. For what's coming and this is what it is you can't prepare for what's coming to this earth in a in a carnal in a carnal fashion meaning in a in a uh, physical way you can't prepare for what's coming <laughs> physically it's, it's impossible you can't get guns you can't get money you can't get food and resources to try to uh, um, you know make your life easier and shield you from the danger to come it's impossible you know why? Because the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, is going to be governing all of this death, all of this suffering, all of these plagues. is going to come from the Lord. And, and if you are not under his shadow, okay, you're not under his shadow. If you're not a part of that number that he's going to deliver that remnant that he's going to save, you will be caught up in the destruction no matter what you do. And um, I just want to, I'm going to get this. Sometimes take a little minute, but um, I'm gonna pull this up. This Deuteronomy 32, just to prove that you know if the Lord wants to wants to put death upon you, man, th there is nothing that you can do. The Lord's gonna put judgment on you. It's nothing you can do, man. Which is why you cannot currently prepare for what's coming. You have to be spiritual. You have to lean upon the Yahweh Shemal Shai and seek His wisdom, seek His knowledge and His understanding. And then you're going to get saved. Then you're going to get delivered. Having faith in that. Having faith in his words and, and his only begotten son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. That's how you're going to get saved. It says, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, says, See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. So there's there's no other gods, man. There's no one else calling the shots. It's only Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the, 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 the heavenly host that the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, has created. And they all agree on one accord, man. Okay? All agree on one accord. Ain't no, ain't no Zeus. Ain't no, you know, uh, hey, all these other gods, man. I ain't even going to mention their names, you know. But all these other gods that these people think of, think about, if it ain't Yahweh Hashem al it's, it's it's a false god. It's not real. Okay? So you can't you can't go and call on a, a, a JC and all these other guys to come and save you from, from, from the wrath that's that's about to come on the planet Earth, the plagues that's about to come on the Lord, because it's the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. 
So the only one who can save you from it is him. The only one who can kill you is him. It says, I kill and I make alive. So it's the Lord that's, that, that kills and, and keeps you alive. It's only how about Shema al -Shah. It says, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, the, so if the Lord has it out for you and he has it where you're set to be destroyed by him, that's what's going to happen. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So you can't prepare for this thing in, in a carnal fashion, in a physical way, in a fleshly uh, matter. You got you to gotta do this spiritually. And doing this, and doing this spiritually is leaning according to the words and wisdom of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. It says Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Okay, so it says that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. This is what's going to keep us stable in that day, unshaken, unmoved, okay, by all the things that's going on, all the death, all the plagues, all the torture that's going to be out here on the planet Earth. And we're we're going to be, so like, we're going to be stable and, and have a, a calm mindset when these things are happening because we know that it's coming from Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. And we know that the Lord has said that these things uh, were going to come. And if, and, and if you know, we just stay faithful unto him and don't fear anything else and seek another way, okay, going down uh, onto Egypt for help. If we don't do that, then we're going to get saved. We're going to get delivered. And, and, and if we, you know, hold on and, and, and believe and practice the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shemal Shad is going to bring us salvation. It says, and, and strength of salvation. So this is the strength of your salvation, this wisdom and this knowledge. Okay, holding uh, holding on to this, leaning on to this, and not going any other way. What's about to come on the planet Earth is the MOTB, which is going to be a snare to many people. It's going to trap you up in death and destruction. Okay, because you're going to think that that's uh, salvation for you, your help, the way to get up out of this situation. Because... <laughs> Hey man, as as you know, as I continue to state, all hell is about to break loose. Uh, the apostle, the apostle hard, you know, dubbed this year the year, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. We are hoping that Jacob's trouble comes, man. This this is what we're we're patiently waiting for, Jacob's trouble, so we can get up at this place because we're spiritually preparing for it. We are we are spiritually prepared, man. All the rest of these people are 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 uh, preparing carnally. Those that you know, can see that something is about to pop off. They're they're preparing carnally. They're getting bunkers. They're getting guns. They're getting canned goods and bottles and bottles and bottles of water, thinking that that's going to save them. Hey, 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 the Lord is going to put you people to death. That's what's going to happen. All of you people that's not hearkening to the words and wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Shai via the prophets, you people are going to die, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. And that's speaking to you so-called Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Americans, because you heathen, y'all, y'all are gonna die regardless. Okay? All of y'all are gonna perish regardless, man. But you know, for you Israelites, you have a chance to get right. You have a chance to come back to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. You know. But it says the fear of Yahweh is his strength. It is his uh it's his treasure, Salakia. So hey, the fear of Yahweh Shem Al Shai is our treasure, and we are fearing the Lord, and we're going to be able to cash out in that day. We're going to be able to, you know, actually, um, uh, what's the word? Reap. You know, we're going to be we're going to actually be able to reap what what we have been sowing, and we have been sowing in the fear of Yahweh Shemal Shai. And all these other people, man, they just doing doing their own thing. They 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 fear they fear, you know, uh, their their parents. They fear the, the outlook of this world, man, and how this world feels about you. The only thing that we fear is Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. And a treasure is something that's stored up for future use. So we're going to be able to uh, use, you know, we're going to be able to use that, 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 um, that, uh, uh that's the word I'm looking for, man. You know, I can't think of it. But, we, but we're going to be able to use the fear of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai in that day, you know. Right, these people are going to be able to use nothing because the only thing they're going to have is money. They're going to have a gun or whatever, and eventually you're going to die. It says that he that uh, uh, live it by the sword shall die by the sword. And also, riches profit not in a day of wrath. So <laughs> let me get that because you, you can't, nothing carnal is going to help you in that day. 
This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness delivered from death. And righteousness comes from the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And believing on the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, you have to have all of those things rolled into one. Because if you have one missing, the, the whole recipe is off. You need Yahweh Shai in order to be saved. You just can't just you know, have these works and and think that that's going to save you. You just can't have uh, faith in Yahweh Shai and have no works. You know, you got to have some form of works, some form of of, 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 uh, of works in order to be saved, man. And even the, the man who was on the cross, you know, uh, right, right uh, you know, alongside Yahweh Shai, those two men that were on that cross, that one man defended Yahweh Shai. You know, he defended the word, man. He defended the truth. And, and Yahweh Shai said, hey, you're going to be with me in paradise. So <laughs> that was a work for him. So everyone has to have some form of, of, of works in order to be saved, man. And you can't have either one of those, you know, those things without without the other. So hey, that's that's what's gonna get you delivered. Not something uh fleshly, not something physical, not something carnal. This is um Isaiah 65 and 12. It says, Therefore will I number you to the sword. And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. So when the Lord was calling unto these people, which he's doing is still right now, to this very second, he, he's, he's calling out to so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But what? You did not answer. Because we know two-thirds of our people are not going to get right. These niggas, these niggas are going to die right alongside the heathen. You niggas are heathen. We don't care about you, man. The only the only people that we're fishing for is the elect, which are, 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 the, are the true Israelites. They are the true Israelites, man. Two-thirds of our people, you're not Israelites right now. You're, you're niggas. You're black. You're, you're Mexican. You're whatever the fuck you want to be called. because you, you don't want to be called uh, uh, he prince of the power, Yashar Allah. You don't want to be called that, man. You niggas love to be called niggas. Hey, even Charleston White said it for, for all of you motherfuckers. He said, hey, I, we ain't Hebrews. We ain't uh, I forgot the other shit he said, but he said, we ain't Hebrews, we ain't this, we niggas. And that's exactly what you are, you niggas. So what? When the Lord called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did shoes that wherein I delighted not. You shows eat, drink, and be merry. You shows guns, canned goods, and water bottles. For those of you who are you know, in a in a in a mindset of damn, something's gonna happen. You you didn't choose your Hobbit Shemal Shadow. You didn't listen to his prophets. And none of you niggas can say that you that you haven't heard of the truth. None of you. You all have heard of the truth. You all have heard the Israelites. This is mainstream now, boy. <laughs> I mean, like, like like where, where we go from this? This is mainstream. This is the end. Matthew the 24th chapter. It says that the uh, the word shall go forth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come. We are at the end right now. The word has gone forth, man. Through that line, through the internet. But you people shows that wherein Yahweh Shem Al Shai delighted not. Shows everything itself for the Lord. So you will be numbered to the sword. And you and, and this is gonna happen. Verse 13. Therefore, said uh yeah, said the Lord Yahweh. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So in that day, we're going to eat because we are spiritually preparing for what's coming. But you people are going to starve because you're carnally preparing for what's coming. The Lord is about to bring the sword, famine, death, and destruction on the earth. Spirits uh, created for vengeance. Okay, to seek out those souls that Yahweh Shemal Shai has set for death. So it's, not, it's nothing that you can do. You can't, you can't. Avoid it. It's just like on Ghostbusters, right? You got motherfuckers trying to fight ghosts with with uh with chairs, wooden chairs. Okay, they trying to hit the ghost with with a damn chair. They trying to stab the ghost, shoot them. You can't you can't fight something spiritual with something physical. It's impossible. Is it? They're they're on two different playing fields. Literally. So it's the same thing with Yahweh Shemal Shai. You can't. Fight this carnal battle. I'm saying fight this spiritual battle with something carnal. 
It's impossible. So it says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And all these things are going to happen because you're moving in a carnal mindset. So you're going to be you're going to be caught up in, in the judgment and the plagues that the Lord is going to have on the earth. And the only ones that are going to be rejoicing is the servants of Yahweh Shemal Shai because they are under the shadow of the Almighty. They're moving in the spirit of the Lord. While the rest of our people are covered in the spirit of Egypt, as it says in Isaiah, the, uh, the 30th chapter, it says Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we are in that secret place, which is this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, which is here from majority of this world. We're the majority of this world. We're hidden in that. Okay, under the shadow of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And, under, and being under that shadow, we have a great protection. It says, I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. So we ain't trusting in our own might and our own strength. Okay, physicality and guns and things that we may know, whether it be a, mar a martial art or a gang of niggas. We're not trusting in any, in any of that. We're not putting our, our hearts into any of that, which is our time and our effort trying to build those things up and, and, strength, and, and strengthen that. Only thing we're trying to strengthen is our faith. Our trust in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. That's it. That's all, man. We don't we don't care about anything else in this world, cause nothing else in this place is gonna help you, and damn sure not a uh, a mortal man. It says that in um yeah, it says in the Psalms. Uh, what is it? One eighteen. I just gotta get it before it slip my mind. Uh, damn, I think it is Psalms one eighteen. Yup, this Psalms 118 and verse 8. It says, It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. So it's better to trust in Yahweh Shemal Shai than putting your confidence in a mortal man who is going to die. Who can do nothing, who calls no shots. <laughs> Only Yahweh Shemal Shai calls the shots. He's running this, man. We fear him, we trust him. That's the only one that's gonna save us. Is Yahweh Shemal Shai. Verse 3, Psalms 91, says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. We're going to be protected from death. All manners of death that's to come. All manners of destruction that's to come. And Esau Edom is going to come with it all. Uh, it says he's going to come um, like a madman sparing none. It says he's going to um, come down with great wrath. So we're going to be delivered from that. You're going to be delivered from the snare of the fowler. You're going to be delivered from the noise and pestilence. Okay, these, uh, these nuclear bombs that's to come and rain down upon Babylon the Great. We're going to be protected from everything. It says, he shall cover thee with his feather, with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So it's going right back to the truth. The truth is your shield, is your shield and your buckler. Trusting in the words and wisdom of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. That's gonna keep you that's gonna keep you protected because you believing in, in, in the words that the Lord has said. You you trusting in his promise. You waiting on him. You ain't wavering. You ain't going nowhere else. The Lord said to do this. The Lord said to do that. And you're doing it. If you're doing it, it's gonna be a shield and a buckler onto you. It's gonna be your protection. This was gonna cause the Lord to protect you. But as for the rest of these people, they will get no protection. They will only get suffering because they don't trust the Al Bashim Al Shai. They trust their own hearts. They trust this world. So they're gonna perish because they rejected the Lord. This is um second Ezra 9 and verse 7. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So those are the ones that are gonna be saved. Those that have faith in works, you're going to be saved, man. It says, shall be preserved from the sad perils. So the, the perils are coming. As I said, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, as it says in 
2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. That's what's coming to the earth. Ezekiel uh, 7 and verse 7, it says that evil and only evil is come. That's all that's coming to the earth, man. It's only evil, bad times, death, plagues, torments, pains. That's, what's, that's, the, that's the majority of the things that's going to be here on the earth. No good times, no partying, you know, no protection. And the only ones that's going to be getting that is the elect, which is that small, small remnant as this chapter goes into. But it says, shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. So that's how you get salvation. For I have sanctified them from me for me from the beginning, and you must be predestinated. <laughs> you you have to be predestinated, already put, uh, set to be saved, you know. But no one knows who 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 they are to be saved, which is why we do this work, which is why we do what 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 we are doing right now, man. Which shows you, which uh, gives you a, a great hint of who the elect who who the elect may be. You know, we don't know exactly who they are, but hey, you can you can say hey, this man may very well be of the elect. And we can surely say that for our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Those men may very well be of the elect. And we pray y'all by Shema Shai that they do, that they do be a part of the elect. But you must be predestinated to be saved, you know. But it says, then, then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So all those people who reject the spirituality, reject coming back to Yahweh Bashem Shai, you're going to dwell in torments. You're going to die horrible, grievous deaths because you're trying to prepare for a spirit. You're trying to prepare for a spiritual battle carnally. It's impossible. You can't, you can't prepare for this thing. <laughs> you can't prepare for this thing carnally, man. Jacob's trouble is going to be is going to be uh, you know um, a physical a spiritual entity is going to be behind that. And that's Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So you're gonna to have to do what he said in order to uh, to be delivered from it. He said to walk spiritually, be led by the Spirit, walk in the Spirit. Don't walk in the flesh, because if you walk in the flesh, he's gonna put you to death. It says the carnal mind is enmity with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So you having a carnal mind, you're now you're an enemy to the Lord. Now he's against you. And that's and that's one, that's one being you do not want to be against you, man. It says, um, let me get this. All right, now I want to work. Damn it, it's on the <laughs> man, I can't make that up, man. <laughs> All right, you pull this up. This is Matthew 10 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Man, I'm rude, man. The why do y'all buy Shemal Shai? But, hey, you are to fear y'all buy Shemal Shai and not man and, not, and nothing else. Don't fear a, 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 a demon, an evil spirit, okay? Don't, don't fear shit. Don't fear nothing, man. Only thing that you fear is the Lord, because he's the one that can destroy your your body, uh, both, you know, your body and your soul in hell, which is, um, you know, torture, torments, constantly bring you back and torturing you, man. Or he can keep your spirit in one particular situation of, of, of torture, and you're just going through it, and you, and you don't even die. Like, for example, when, when, when those people take the MOTB, they're going to be burning in the lake of fire, Forever and ever, which that means a very, very long time. However long the Lord is going to have you in it, you're going to be in that fire. But it's not just going to be a, a, a snap of a finger. You get hit with a missile, and then you just die, and then you just wake up in the spirit in the spirit world. No, you're gonna you, you people are going to get hit with that missile. You're going to suffer for a very long time. You're going to burn, man. Okay, you're going to burn, and, and, and no one knows how that fire how that fire is going to feel. <laughs> Only y'all about Shemal Shad knows how that fire is going to feel. You people are going to sit in that shit and burn. Okay? This is why you ought to fear y'all about Shemal Shai. Just like that uh, that, that stupid-ass woman said, hey, hey, send, send, send me to hell. Send me to hell. I got to do this. I got to do all this. Just, just send me to hell. Well, yeah, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna burn. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not going to be 
it's not going to be hell from what your mindset is, what you think, but hey, you're, you're, you're going to burn. You're going to burn in, in Babylon and great America. This place will be your hell. And that's what the Lord can do unto you, man, which is why hey, you, you ought to fear him and fear no one else. That, was, that, that woman who said that, that was a foolish woman. And she will regret those words. She won't be, she won't be saying that when she's, uh, when she's in that fire. It says in the book of Sirach, you know, when you're uh, in, 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 um, damn, how I go? It says, uh, let me see. Bear with me. Prosperity. I'm trying to look it up on this phone. Why y'all watching around shot? This is Sirach 11. Now I go back to that second Ezra. Sirach 11 and verse 25. It says, In a day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. So when you're in prosperity, you know, you're doing well, you're getting money, you're having a good time, you know, you got a you got a woman, or a for you women, you may you may have a man, you're living your best life, you're having a good time. So what? You forget those bad times that you once were going through. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. So vice versa. So once you're in affliction, once you're in that torture, that torment, hey, guess what? You ain't, you ain't going to be thinking about your best life. You ain't going to be thinking about that day when you had that pretty ass dress on, your hair was done, you fucked three niggas that day. You ain't going to be thinking about none of that shit. Only thing you're going to be thinking about is burning suffering for your for your uh for your sins your wickedness that's what you're going to be thinking about man so hey you can keep on shaking your ass at the club and living it up and having a having a good time speaking against uh the lord do that do you any man be ignorant let him be ignorant we ain't stopping you niggas man y'all want to be against the lord just show your true colors and die with your true colors <laughs> show them and die with them but this is um second Edris 9 verse 9. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case. So you're you're gonna be in pitiful case. All of you people. All of you people that have the mindset of that woman, all of you people that's currently preparing for what's to come, you're gonna be in pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall do on the torments. Now also it's it gotta be another way, bro. We gotta march. We gotta come together. We gotta get some guns. We got to set up a, 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 a malicious group to come against uh, the government. No, that's bullshit. None of that's going to help you, man. Hey, this is what the Lord said to do. This is what y'all about Shemal Shai said to do, man. See, the thing is, our people don't believe in the Lord. They don't They don't believe that there's a higher power. They don't believe that, that, that y'all about Shemal Shai is actually going to do something because they've been suffering for so long for their sins. So now they think that the Lord is just, you know, he don't care about them. He, does, he doesn't want to help them. But this this is the greatest form of care that the Lord can ever do for you. He gave, he gave you the prophets. But you niggas reject and hate us and want to kill us. So the Lord going to kill y'all. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. And he's doing that right now in the valley a Jehoshaphat over there in the, in the Middle East. He's doing in the so-called Middle East. You know, he's doing that right now, man. And what is that? Uh, Iran it says to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire with the fire of my jealousy. And yeah, that that Hamas versus Israel thing does going to brew and get greater and greater into full fledged World War Three because we're 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 in World War Three pretty much right now, man. This is not gonna stop. It's not gonna, you know, pull back and, and get and get better. No, this shit is going to worsen. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse until the point where it's at this uh, verse eight. When how about Shemal Shai cracks those clouds and while all those nations are fighting against each other, the Lord is gonna crack those clouds and he's gonna destroy the armies of this world. Okay, but we have to patiently wait 
on Yahweh Bashem al Shai, which that's a spiritual thing. Having patience in the spirit, having patience and believing and having faith in the words of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. That's, 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 that's highly spiritual, man. Which these niggas don't got it in them. They ain't got a spiritual bone in them. It says 2nd Ezra's 9. And uh, yeah, let me read 9 again. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. See, people are, are going to dwell in torments, man. That famine will get you people. Which famine is, a, is 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 when there is no food or water around for you to um, you know uh, for you to eat or drink, so you pine away, which is a horrible death. It's best for your brains to just get blown out, or you just bleed out before you know you you want to starve to death, man. It says for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, now people receive benefits daily. You niggas get money, you niggas got food, you niggas wake up. Okay, you you can you you doing you doing you living your best life. The Lord giving you niggas all these fucking benefits, man, and you don't even want to know the Lord. You 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 reject Him. You think you just getting these things by coincidence. You think you just wake up in the morning by coincidence because JC's waking you up. No, it's Yahweh Hashem Al Shaddai's waking you up, man. It's the Lord that's waking you up. Nothing else. It's the Lord that's providing for your stupid ass. Nothing else. But these niggas still don't want to know him. So what? And they and, and then you can't say, well, I, I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know it. No one told me. No, the prophet's telling you, man. Day in and day out, week in and week out. You you people have no excuse. Says in day that I've lowered my law, which means they they had great hatred for it, while they while they had yet liberty, all right, the chance to do what was right. The chance to come back to y'all by Shemal Shai and do what was right, you people have that liberty. It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despising it. No one is stopping you from serving the Lord. Esau ain't forcing y'all niggas to, to believe some wayward uh, religion. He's not forcing you niggas to do that, man. You are willingly saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to serve this idol. I want to follow after the ways of the heathen. I want to be like the heathen. You niggas are are are, are saying that out of, out of your own, you know, your own actions. You're saying that, man. You you hate your Yahweh Shem Al Shai. You hate the Lord. You hate everything that, that has to do with truth and righteousness, man. You niggas love carnality. You love the wickedness of this world, man. So what? It says, and when as that place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not but despise it. The same must know it after death by pain. So for that, you, you, you're going to have to know it after death by pain. You're going to dwell in torments. You're going to be taken by, by the sore for judgments of the Lord. You know, the dogs to tear. Birds of the air, the fowls of the air to come and uh, devour you people and, 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 and uh, jack y'all up as well, man. Hail, fire. You know, Floods of water. All, all these things are coming for you people. All these things are spirits of vengeance for Yahweh Bashem al Shah. So there's nothing that you can do to get away from something that, that's that's spiritually attacking you with a carnal uh with a carnal physical thing. It's, it's, it's not possible to do. If the Lord has something set for you, you know, to, to go through something that you're set to uh, be destroyed by, it's nothing that you can do to avoid it. Unless you seek him and you do what he has said, then you're going to potentially get saved and delivered by Yahweh Hashem al Shai. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakwadash, Shalom, and Kwam, Yashar Allah.